and welcome everybody to today's edition of Mexico News Network's The Travel Insider. My name is Sofia Rattinger and joining me is financial analyst Elliot Baldwin. Mr. Elliot Baldwin, how are you, Elliot? I'm very well, Sofia, and how are you? Fine, thank you. How was your weekend? Well, fantastic. Busy as ever. I mean, the end of the whale sharks, right? But uh, yeah. they'll be gone until next July. A year. Another let's year. let's wait. Let's Can't wait. wait. <laughs> Welcome everybody, we've got a great show in store for you today, but before we start, remember to check us on all our social networks, Facebook, Twitter and Google+, and follow us daily on our website, mexiconewsnetwork.com, for relevant stories and news. Let's start with the show. With the presence of the three magical towns of Quintana Roo, the third National Magical Towns Fair was held from the 14th to the 16th of October in Querétaro. This year's title was Tourism for All, promoting universal accessibility. That's right, during the three-day event, about 30,000 people gathered at the convention center of Querétaro, where Quintana Roo had a booth to showcase the tourism, hotel, restaurants and cultural sites that Bacalar, Tulum and Isla Mujeres have to offer. All three of these locations hold the distinction of magical town in this beautiful southern Mexican state. The event included a celebration of the 50th anniversary of the creation of the Magic Towns program, which acts as a hallmark of tourism fostering the development of localities that have symbolic attributes, history, important facts, becoming an important area opportunity to use in the tourism sector. The Magical Towns business generates an economic impact of 7.2 billion pesos per year, slightly higher than that what the border tourism produces and well above what cruise ship travelers spend. This program includes in its 83 locations a population of 5 million people. In total, it comprises 866 hotels, mostly small, including mansions and estates, totaling 21,000 rooms in which 9,140 are concentrated in just 10 villages. Yeah, did you know, Sophia, that this program has really taken off now and um, it's got international recognition from six other countries like Spain, Guatemala, El Salvador, who also want to adopt the program. Yeah, that's right. And, and it shows that Mexico has a, a great program, a great pr program for, for this kind of uh, little towns, this magical towns. I, I think it, it is a great program, don't you think? Yeah, and, it, and it's definitely opening up a whole new layer of cultural tourism. So people, they can go to beach towns, which are close by, but then yeah. they kind of branch off and then they do these yeah, special the, sites. The, there are two different kinds of tourism. If you want to enjoy the beach and the sand and all those things, and if you want to learn about the culture of the country, of the certain, of their certain city, you go to a magical town. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so what are the magical towns of Mexico? There are towns in Mexico worth visiting because they are sites of legends, historical events, important traditions and cultural manifestations. To make them known, the government of Mexico has implemented since 2001 the Magic Towns program. This program contributes to reassess these sites that have always been in the collective imagination of the nation and represent fresh and different alternatives for domestic and foreign visitors. The fundamental idea was that tourists would take advantage of their stay in some resort beaches or destinations to explore attractive towns nearby, or that highway tourists would be tempted to stop at one or more locations in their path. But Sophia, could any town be eligible to enter the program? Originally, there were five conditions that a site must collect to enter the program. To be near a big tourist destination, a reasonable road access, some historical or religious appeal, the will of the population to participate, and the existence of craft shops, restaurants and shops so that the town will benefit from the spending of visitors. Tourism is recognized as a crucial economic activity and engine for development in Mexico. It's one of the nation's biggest sources of revenue and directly employs some two and a half million people. Because of the importance of the sector, the president recently announced the national tourism policy, recognizing tourism as one of the economic activities with the greatest potential for growth and the capacity to generate employment and foster development, according to Javier Guillermo Molina, Chief of International Affairs and Cooperation of the Mexican Ministry of Tourism. During the first three years of the current administration, federal, state and municipal investment amounts to 7.7 .7 billion pesos to improve tourism infrastructure in the 32 states through the regional development of Sustainable Tourism Program and the Magic Towns Program. 
The 111 magical towns in Mexico generate 3.7 million tourists, an economic impact of 6 billion pesos every year, which benefit 2 million Mexican families. In the current administration, the number of international tourists visiting Mexico has increased by more than 7 million. At the end of 2012, they reached 23.4 million foreigners, and at the end of 2016, the country will have reached more than 31 million tourists from abroad. Compared to 2015, the economic benefit exceeds $17 billion. That's amazing. Have you ever been in a mental town? Well, only locally here, but I mean, I think the, the state with the most is Michoacan, right? Well, I don't know. They say they think there's three or four there, but there now there's so many beautiful ones all over the state. Just, just here in Quintana Roo, have you, have you ever been in... My favorite is Bacala. Bacala. Yeah. I've been in San Cristobal de las Casas, it's in Chiapas. Oh my God, so, so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Very artisanal, right? Yes. And very high up as well, high altitude. It's right? chilly over there. Yeah. <laughs> Quintana Roo, located to the south of Mexico, features one of the most beautiful magical towns, Bacalar. We were talking about Bacalar. A unique haven away from practically everything, which lies just beside the lagoon of the seven colors. Here you go. No. Oh, <laughs> somewhere to snorkel, scuba dive. It's just a gem. Marisol Venegas Perez, Ser Secretary of Tourism of Quintana Roo, recalled that Bacala was the first magical town of the state to achieve this distinction, which happened back on October the 2nd, 2007. While Tulum and Isla Mujeres were recognized on September 25th, 2015. Oh yeah, Tulum. This town is a magical place to enjoy the peaceful ambience of the Riviera Maya. Tulum has absolutely no stress whatsoever. In fact, it is one, it is a perfect destination for nature lovers. It is a perfect place to forget about the world and enjoy the view of the Caribbean Sea from one of the beach from Cabanas or boutique Palapas hotels. Yeah, in Tulum there are no high-end luxurious resorts with large pools. This town reveals a soothing and laid-back concept, a friendly coexistence with Mother Nature. A visit to this charming place isn't complete until you've admired the ancient Maya ruins of Tulum, an iconic place of the state. Oh, what have you? Have you ever been in Tulum? Yeah. Uh, I'm always asking, one. have you ever been? Have you ever been? <laughs> I've got a secret there. I swear I proposed to, uh, really? to my wife there. Oh yeah. My God. I mean, it. The view's amazing. It does. It takes you away. I mean, so it's... romantic. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, it's just a, an incredible place. Yeah, I mean, not just to propose, but the the entire place. It takes you somewhere else, right? Yes, yes, it, it is a great place. Yeah. Just six kilometers away off the coast of Cancun lies a tropical island with clear and warm water. Oh yeah, Isla Mujeres is for many the favorite place to dive and swim in. It has a lot of snorkeling sites with abundant marine life, reefs, and underwater caves. In contrast to Cancun, Isla Mujeres is a place to relax and enjoy the flow of a traditional town of the Caribbean. So if you're seeking an alternative to the hustle and bustle of Cancun or Playa del Carmen, um, I mean, Isla Mujeres, Bacala, Tulum, I mean, these places offer something really out of this world, right? Yeah, the, the water of Isla Mujeres is amazing. It's amazing. You can walk, you can walk, I mean, in, in the beach, walk, 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 and, and the water is, 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 is in your knees. It's pristine, that yeah. blue, and as you cross the bay of Mujeres between you, you Cancun there. You can see through there, the water, yes. We used to see the dolphins there, right, as you go on the ferry. I mean, mm -hmm. if you're lucky, if you see at daybreak, you can still see dolphins there. And, and the, the, during the ferry, I, I think you can see, like, Three types of blue or green, blue greenish, so something like that. It's multi-layered, like you say. I mean, it just is absolute beauty yeah. on earth. I mean, great stuff. Visit it also is visit Isla Mujeres. Thank you for being with us. It was a really big pleasure. My name is Sofia Rattinger and my co-host. I'm Elliot Bullman. Thanks for being with us and have a great day. Until next time.